In recent weeks, state governments continue with the distribution of palliatives to cushion the impact of the fuel subsidy removal, and Emo State hasn't been left out. Senator Ifain Uba has also joined the growing number of federal lawmakers using their position to benefit of their people. And we have details in this report. Amid calls for palliatives and social intervention, some state government and federal lawmakers have risen to the challenge. One of them is Senator Ifain Uba. <laughs> Some describe these as massive empowerment projects, which, according to the senator, it is a demonstration of life-changing employment program. Delivering his speech, Governor of Imo State explains that these benefits will follow the strong economic policy introduced by the federal government. He appeals that Nigerians should extend support to vulnerable groups around them. Mr. President also has encouraged To see the problems of members of their constituencies as their problem, he has also encouraged them to go back to their various constituencies to see how they can cushion the effect of this policy. The national chairman of APC, Abdullah Gandiji, commended the senator for his people's oriented empowerment programs. And not everybody is the one that you come and hear. It's the one that you come and see a large crowd of people. But this rally is a mega rally. Yes. And it's a rally of empowerment. For the federal lawmaker who promised to ensure his desire to leave many out of poverty is achieved. <laughs> In fact, the, what drove him into politics was even this desire to have the platform to touch as many people as possible, you understand, and to put smiles on the faces of people, you know, by helping our people. Members of the APC National Working Committee challenged public office holders to take a cue from Senator Ifa Yubas' empowerment gesture. Every time everybody is shouting about Bolatin, 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 the president is not going to be the only one that can solve this problem. The governors across the 36 states, the 109 senators, like if I buy is doing, must rise to the occasion and continually do more at this season to be able to alleviate the impact of what is going on right now, the policies that are been introduced to ensure that Nigeria is on the path of economic strength. And so I call on each and every leader, not just the senators, House of Representatives, um, uh, councillors, uh, local government chairmen, uh, um, governors, and every leader in the society to emulate what Senator Ibai Uba has done. Over 30,000 Anambra people are expected to benefit from the empowerment program. Many are to go on with motorized bicycle, tricycle, shuttle buses, sewing machines, hairdressing machines, food items, and many more. Bamidele Ajayi. Timisi News, Newi. Well, that incident, that story happened in Anambra, not Imo, as earlier reported. Well, BK, well, let's have your perspective on this distribution of palliative as we've seen from state governors, now lawmakers. What do you make of this development? This is what we've always wanted. Mm. And I remember after we began to complain that the big time politicians were not showing empathy. We saw Senator Gwengadane uh, do something in his uh, constituency of uh, uh, Ogun State. The Jebu area, where it comes from. Everyone that is in position to do this needs to jump in to assist our people. Right. And the people will appreciate it. Our people need support. That is what we are saying. We are not saying this will be the, the norm. permanent economic module. Mm. No, no one is saying that. Mm. Because I had an individual say, you cannot uh, revamp an economy with palliatives. Who said 
they should revamp the economy of palace. We are saying that at a time like this, help our people. Lend a hand. All the religions acknowledge that we cannot all be rich. Yeah. Fingers, are Fingers are not equal. Mm -hmm. God recognizes the fact that there are poor people, among, be us. Poor people among us, whether we like it or not. Right. So, but we need to help those people. That is the point we are making. Look at what Senator Efe and Yuba has done. This is massive. This is a, a real a game-changing initiative. And everyone will point at what uh, Senator Efe and Yuba has done as the standard. Mm. Because it's not the only one in that Senate. There are 109 of them. Mm -hmm. If others can do something like this, it will go a long way. Who has done something like this, this big, attracting this kind of crowd, attracting this kind of big personalities within the party? So he has set a standard. This is, and this is a man who is not known to have lost an election. Mm. He's a perennial politician to watch. Mm. There's no way that the people will abandon you when you need them. If you are known as someone who always shows up to help people. That's what uh, Senator Efe Yubas advertised himself to, to be. I like the fact that the day before this grand empowerment, he, had the, he organized a colloquium meant to bring the Southeast to the epicenter of Nigerian politics. You know? And um, the whole idea is for the South is to take its rightful place in the epicenter of politics in our country. That's what Senator Ifeanyi Yuba is pushing hard for. And you can see the extent that he has gone. gone. And, and I know that God who rewards people who remember the poor in, in our midst will also remember him. I'm, I'm charging others. You've seen what your colleague has done. Try your best. If you cannot um, best him, mm. try to at least move close to what he has done. We will appreciate it all the same. <laughs> Indeed. GKB, you know, from what Babajide has said, this is what we've been canvassing on yeah. the show and as much as what we've been seeing so far from other state governors. What I'm particularly concerned about is this not being used as a political tool, perhaps um, maybe if at all getting to the right persons. How do you think that can be shadowed? How, can you how do you think this kind of uh, palliative can get to the right people who need it and not being used as a political tool by most of these politicians? Well, that's why I'm very happy. The senators are now taking the bulls by the horn, basically. Because We've shouted there many times that some governors are not doing well. We know what they are doing in Bono. We know what they are doing in some states. We know what they are doing in Lagos. Mm -hmm. With the Unje, Unje Co, mm -hmm. so which I was even part of yesterday, because I have to go to one in my area just to confirm whether they were there. And some of the representatives came in. So now the House of, the Senate and members of the House of Representatives, like this guy in uh, Adult Water, Tunja Kiyosi, we also did a similar thing for people in that area. Mm. And then, because we, we, we have to admit that some governors have been missing in action. So nature abhors a vacuum. And they've been very lucky in open states that they have senators like Yai, mm. who are willing to block that particular element. To go. Because it's only palliative that they wanted in some areas. Mm. Some areas, the roads, this palliative. Right. The roads are so bad that to even come out of your villages to get this, it's very or to get it back, it's going to be extremely difficult. Mm. Because once you leave my neighborhood in, uh, in Amadia, it's going to be war to get water. <laughs> you spend something that should take 15 minutes, will take about two hours. And people die on that road every day because people now convert the other road to face to face. Mm. Just as there's somebody died. And it's basically like that all the way to to, to attack, mm -hmm. down, down, on the way to Abekota. So I want to commend uh, Senator Uba. I want to commend other senators as well. It is not only because they need to, it's because they have to. And to go back to your question, there is no better politics 
that I'm talking to a man on full stomach. Your boss, your boss, I be saying that in a big park, Obawasu. Right. There is no way an angry man will listen to your sermon. But if a politician, I really want people to remember what you are doing for them. This is what you need to do, and do it now. Like we said, it's not going to be forever. Right. But while we are hurting from the <coughs> fallout or the decisions taken by this administration to solve our economic problems down the line, alternatives like this are necessary to make sure that the base elements in our society do not suffer unduly mm. due to lack of finance to buy this stuff. Right. Well, let's quickly move on to our next issue.